Good luck, Jerry. Thanks. Gonna need it. This guy here. <laughs> what is your fucking problem? Today? I'm out on you right now. Uh, the whole world is, so join the club. Yeah, they should be. Support murder. <laughs> Welcome to the Rundown. March 14th. <clears throat> rundown today is brought to you by Rocky Boots. Rugged outdoor heritage. Rocky Boots are known for their long lasting and rugged construction, making them the ideal for outdoor work and recreational activities. Ideal for outdoor work or great show activities. They're designed with comfort in mind, featuring cushion insoles and supportive technology for all day comfort. Rocky boots are engineered to provide protection from harsh outdoor <laughs> conditions and environments, ensuring the safety and comfort of the wear. Let me tell you, let me ask you, Jerry, you look like you don't Big have fan. city hands. You got some working man's hands. Big fan of Rocky boots. Rico wouldn't know one thing about working outside. <laughs> but I've worn no, Rocky boots in the past. Very good, very comfortable. Rocky boots has long-standing reputation for producing high-quality boots with a rich heritage and legacy in the outdoor and workwear industries. They are committed to continuous innovation and improvement, constantly evolving its products offerings to meet the changing needs of its customers. Buy online at rockyboots.com and use the code RUNDOWN, 25% off. Jerry loves his Rocky boots, yeah. Rico. They're good, yeah. What did you used Rico. to do, Rico? What? What line of work were you in? Saved lives. Uh, I mean, it's didn't just answer. Didn't just dig holes. Oh, I'm just, now I'm just a hole digger now. <laughs> the world needs ditch diggers too, Jerry. Yeah, you do, well, you're, they do. You're, 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 digging, hey. you're digging my hole. Say, sure digging my hole. Uh, but I came in your hole with a lot of cum <laughs> for a long time. Aaron Rodgers possibly going to the Jets. Yesterday, Trey Wingo, of all people, tweeted that Aaron Rodgers to the Jets was, quote, done. Ten minutes later, Rappaport came and said nothing has happened. There's been a lot of back and forth. They're signing Aaron Lazar. They're signing Randall Cobb. They got his hack job, old offensive coordinator who couldn't be a head coach. Gentlemen, where's Aaron Rodgers playing next year? I think it's probably the Jets. I, if I'm Green Bay, I kind of am like, all right, we've we've done this dance a million different times. He's already flirting with other teams. Like, just let him go. You got your Super Bowl. Should have been more. Could have been more. It is what it is. Well, let him go. I think the Wolf. Jets. Yeah, the Jets. The Jets need him. The Jets haven't been relevant in terms of quarterback in a while. They need him. I think he's going to the Jets. Ah, uh, I think he's going to the Jets too. And what Rico? But he's just like an all-time scumbag. Just why leave people? waiting like this like you already know what you want to do bro you already know where you want to go why keep doing this dance over and over and over again this is what's going to happen with the jets because they're they're a poverty franchise they'll sign rogers they'll give up probably i hope they don't because they'll be foolish if they give up that 13th pick if they do they're they're pretty screwed is their defense really that good defense is pretty good i know it's defense is pretty, pretty good. good is it that good that like rogers is going to come in Automatic Super Bowl contenders? No, not well, gonna happen. Jerry, you know what happens if they don't sign Aaron Rodgers? Zach Wilson. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how to say this. This is a true story. What I'm about to say, uh, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Zach Wilson uh, has fucked my cousin recently. What? Yeah, he yeah, yeah. has. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, so, I mean, they have to do something. Listen, they're yeah. going to win games. They're, they're probably going to go to the playoffs. But, uh, like, is is Aaron Rodgers going to win you a Super Bowl in New York? Probably not. What's interesting is these franchises that we know of, like, cornerstone quarterbacks. Like, how many years do you remember Favre and then Rodgers in a Green Bay uniform, right? Even you're the Steelers. I think Pickett's the guy. It's great for him. Um, trying to think of the other one. Oh, the Patriots. Like, we, it's 20 years of us being like, who's you, – you know it in an instant. Like, it's they, – they are cornerstones of these franchises. To have Green Bay and the Steelers and New England be in this transitional period is just kind of weird to see. I mean, Aaron Rodgers has got to do what he's got to do. I do think Jordan Love is going to be pretty good. Dude, he was zipping it last I year compared he, to two years ago. I think he's going to be pretty good. And the Packers have come out and said that signing Aaron Rodgers back or bringing him back is not their top priority, yeah, what's he which I think is just absurd $50 million? To say. You seen what that does? He is him. jerking him off, though. Yeah, he not is. Not in a good way. He is. I mean, $50 million is a lot of money to spend on a quarterback. So we'll see with Aaron Rodgers. NFL, other NFL signings, the Raiders got – uh, superstar wide receiver, great draft pick from the Patriots, Jacoby Myers. Garoppolo went to the Raiders, Mike White with the Dolphins. Heineke signs with the Falcons and Sam Darnold. 49ers. Yeah, 49ers. Sam Darnold, Darnold, one year with the 49ers. Anything jump back? I, yeah, I thought 
I don't think Mike, like if you have a chance to go get Aaron Rodgers, but I thought they shut the door a little too quick on Mike White. I know he's going to be a backup, but like, I, I don't know. I, I would have given a little bit more of a chance to Mike White. That's all. Jerry? Huh? I don't think he's terrible. Yeah, Patrick Peterson and the Steelers as well, but like that was an all right signing for the Steelers. It wasn't nothing major. Steelers Twitter is like, oh, this is a. Uh, are the Steelers doing anything this offseason? Mm, like, are they, you expecting if, anything? No. Okay. No, I'm not really expecting much. So another growth year for Pickett. Probably, defense, yeah. Defense get a lot yeah. healthy. Probably another nine and eight type of season. Maybe ten and ten and ten wins. I'm guessing. How are you with Tomlin? Still cool? Yeah, he's all right. He's 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 a good coach. At the end of the day, he's a good coach. All right. You understand me? You understand what JJ's saying? Why, Mike? Why? Can you give me an answer, Mike? I'm waiting, Mike. Are you, are you done with him? I'm not done with him. He's okay. just been mediocre the last decade. Like, they barely win playoff games. Sometimes they don't even go to the playoffs. You know what I mean? So it's tough. But I will say. The division's tough, though. The division's tough, for sure. Bengals did lose two key guys. They lost both their safeties, which will be pretty huge. And I'm going to say something right now. Sam Darnold might be better than Trey Lance. Sam Darnold with the Panthers. In San Fran? Didn't, didn't he look, might be better than Trey Lance. Didn't look like. Awful. Did he look like a franchise quarterback? Of course not. But him, the DJ Moore, they kind of had a thing I don't believe in Trey Lance at all. Like I think, zero. I don't think the 49ers do anymore. If, if Darnold so can, when he went time, Darnold went with the San Francisco. There's too much toxicity with Garoppolo. Darnold to San Fran. Yeah, but I mean, dude, he's a winner. He just wins. That's just all he does is just win. Darnold went to San Fran. Yeah. Sam Darnold, yeah. If you can't look good with those offensive weapons in San Fran. Well, he's not going to be starting. Brock Purdy yeah. pretty much yeah. going to be well, starting. Well, yeah, but is Brock coming back for day one? Six months, you see. Oh, okay, okay. But okay. I, th I think Trey Lance. I thought it was uh, a little bit of an overlap. Job, I didn't know how long say. he was going to be out. You don't think Trey Lance would be the starter day one? No, I think Brock Purdy would. I, I think that was Purdy all played. Confirmed, wasn't I think it? you got to go with Purdy. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, the World Baseball Classic is going on. Uh, USA Mercy Rules Canada, 12-1. to That's after uh, getting beat by Mexico with uh, Jeff McNeil being blatantly anti-American at second base. Uh, but what do you know? You put the Phillies back in the starting lineup. They absolutely roll again. USA is now 2-1. and one. World Baseball Classic. They beat Columbia on Wednesday and advance to the next round. Uh, you gentlemen been paying attention? Baseball Classic at all? Not really. A couple highlights. I saw this Canada kid. Um, I mean, tani has been hitting bombs yeah. off of plumbers, Truth. which is great. Well, yeah, what is, what are the Angels doing with Otani that that's just money burning in their pot? Like, do they plan to trade him at the deadline? Why are they not trading him now? I feel like you get more for him now than you do at the deadline because everyone knows in three months if you don't trade him at the deadline, he's an you, he's gone, yeah. and you know that they have to trade him. Like, well, you know Stevie Cohen's going to give up fair more enough. each day. But oh, yeah. bye. Fair enough, but <laughs> if you're the Angels, like you got to get something for him. You know he's going to walk. He's if you let him go past the deadline, it's the dumbest move I've ever seen in my life. Dumbest. Otani is arguably the most talented baseball player that has ever existed. You are going to be able to get the max value for him at any time, I think. Is Duke could do both. Uh, 21 year old Nicaragua pitcher strikes out Juan Soto, uh, Rafael Devers, and Julio Rodriguez. Signs a minor league contract with the Detroit Tigers immediately after the game. Winning all around. That's a great, great story. I mean, of course, like the guy hasn't had a contract. He's 21 years old in Nicaragua. He should have been signed probably when he was 11 and then gets a chance, signs out, strikes out, boom, 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 three all stars, and now he gets a, a team to disappoint Chris Castellani. Sure. It does give a little bit of an impulse higher, though. Like, this guy is no a lot. No shit, yeah, but why so not? You never know. Yeah. No, you don't. under the Fresh radar. Also, they, they, they do. I will say this. Like, credit to the guy. Credit to the guy. But they do strike out a lot in baseball. <laughs> I want to give credit where they credit's do. due. But I don't know. Maybe that's players some, do strike out all the time. Yeah, some good stuff. And Puerto Rico throws combined for. Also, it's, if you're the GM for the Tigers, you have to spin it a little bit differently. Say, We've been watching them for a while. Aaron Judge. I see oh, yeah. the tape. You cannot just say, I also signed them all for three. How many did he have last three. A lot. Especially in the postseason. I'm just curious. I just want to I'm going to guess uh, 170. Yeah, and here you go. Puerto Rico. Thursday, 174. Four. Pitcher perfect game against Israel. Shout out Garrett Stubbs. Uh, four pitcher perfect game. I know the four hit uh, 
no hitter you guys for the Mets were making shirts for it last year do you count the four pitcher for the game as well I was not in that group text but yeah it's well, we, listen I, the photo they did the photo of the no hitter it's it's Are you happy where, where the Mets are at Yeah uh still a little worried about the um the, the lineup not getting, getting Correa tougher. and the division's brutal I mean we won 101 games last year we didn't make the fucking we didn't win the division 175 strikeouts. Wow, you're right. Aaron Judge, regular season. It's a lot of strikeouts. Yeah, that's what they do. You guys see Carl with Team the Canada Kids? Yeah, Scottsdale Carl was uh, <laughs> swimming with the Canadians after the game. Carl has some good moments in uh, pools and hot tubs. Remember uh, hot tub yeah. uh, Annie? He's burnt to a crisp, his arms. The hot, hot tub Lisa or something like that? It was at a Bears game. It's a good video. Yeah, good for Carl. Having a good time. What we got next, Kev? Oh, Major League Pickleball founder Steve Kuhn says pickleball will easily be a top five yeah. sports within five years. So is all these other fu- – Nah. I, I, hey, top five sports to watch? Absolutely not. Pickleball will never be there. But to play? Is it really that good? I, I've never played it, but if you can get – we played a little bit uh, in the Super Bowl. We what kind of fun. fucking comment? No, I'll tell you exactly why. Because my parents are pickleball fiends now. But you never played it. I, I'm not talking about myself. I'm uh, talking about a sport yeah, yeah, that you can easily play from five years yes. to 95 years. It's sweeping the nation. Exactly. And you're sweeping getting all the these nation. pickleball courts being yep. brought up all over the world. A lot of athletes play pickleball. Yeah. You saw Larry them. Fitzgerald put Frank Borelli in a box yeah. and a blender and a teabagging. Yep. Pickleball, I mean, yeah, it I looks like... Ball. No, I just, I don't think it's going to be, like, I've heard this story from a lot of sports of they'll blow up and they'll blow up, like. We're not sport. talking about slam ball. Uh, women's, yeah, women's slam ball. Um, women's basketball? No. <laughs> uh, I tried to get you. Cornhole. <laughs> like, you know, it's good, but it's not. Uh, I mean, come on. You everybody know thinks that their bad. next thing is going to blow up. Well, I will say this. UFC, that Sports Illustrated article. Who said cornhole was going to blow up outside of Sean Latham? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who is an awesome I will say, I want to give some credit to one shot. sport, though, that I think should of course, Lamar, get the recognition. Fan. College wrestling. Let's give some of these guys, college wrestling, some credit. What they go through, how good they are, how disciplined they are. I love college wrestling. I wish a lot of people watched it. Exactly. What are your thoughts on uh, Title IX? Yeah. What do you mean cauliflower ears? What does that have to do with anything? You just watch their ears. You're like, oh, wow, look at his ears. I, I, know, I mean, you notice a wrestler's ear, yeah. <laughs> All the kids in high school, yeah, they got big ears. Like the re- the ear, the cauliflower ear. It's just fact. Related, Diplo said that he received blowjobs from men, but is definitely not gay. Diplo went on Emily Ratajkowski's yeah, I'm gonna podcast. Get <laughs> and talked about his sexuality. He admitted it to Emily Ratajkowski? He said he isn't aroused by men that much. I'm sure I've gotten a blowjob from a guy before, for sure, 100%. Yeah, that's uh, Creed Bratton in is the Emily, 60s. Uh, is Emily Rad- Ratajkowski married? She was, I believe. Is she single right now? So the issue I have here is at all times, and it's a million to one shot, especially for the three of us sitting here, but at all times, if you're in the presence of Emily Ratajkowski, you should be trying to flirt with Emily Ratajkowski. I don't know if I would admit, I don't have a problem with what Diplo did, whatever, but Anything that would throw Emily Ratajkowski off of like, oh, this guy might not be attracted to me, I think is a bad move. Maybe that makes him more attracted. Maybe, but. You never know. I don't know. She's dating Eric Andre, right? All right. So then. They have like oh, yeah, the naked guy, guy, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to clarify that he's not gay because he didn't make eye contact with the other guy. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Whatever Jerry? it's all boots. Just sit this one out. <laughs> 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 <Set up. laughs> we, I mean, we met we met Diplo at a rough and rowdy. Great guy. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't even he know wanted Diplo he is, wanted honestly. to get he wanted to get in the ring and fight that night. Yeah. Who is Diplo? Who's he's a DJ. 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 Yes, he has a long pass with Frankie Brown. He's a button. He's a button pusher. Gotcha. I only respect DJs that have CDs. The computer DJs, it, it went downhill. So what about the Don? He would, I would venture to say that the Don, based off his age, overlapped in the CD area. So you are not disrespecting Dante the Don? No. I'll, the I'll f- find out right now. Okay. All right. And then we have a Staten Island real estate video, which Rico requested to be on the rundown. Rico? <laughs> Take it away. You were laughing all morning. <laughs> all right. So have you seen it? Uh, no, I haven't. Bro, the guy, it's a typical fucking... Goomba guy. I don't know how it came about. He works for a realty company. And the lines in this thing are great. He's like, you got three double garages and 
two more garages. And then he goes, uh, he lists the price, and then he goes, you could also build a house so on and so on. It's just, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's a funny video. It's my yeah. own. It's well, our. He, he it's thinks my, it's the funniest video. <laughs> yeah, Although the, the realtor knows his clientele. <laughs> Can you play it with sound? 6,000 square foot lot. Three double garages and two garages. Total five garages. Parking for 25 cars outside the garages. $490,000. Barker Street, West Brighton, Staten Island. If you're interested, you call us, Island Wide Realty. You can build a house and so on and so on. There's many other options here, according to the zoning in the area. Interested, call Island Wide Realty. Would you buy no. a piece of property off this No show? way. No, no. <laughs> no way. This video. But it's, do you know people who would? Oh, yeah. And I blogged it, too. It's like, it's just the whole vibe is like, don't ask any questions. Like, you know, you, you, it goes 490000 Could be yours. Call me. Like, there's no glitz and glam. This the worst is a, salesman in history, this guy. I think he's pretty good. He goes right to the point. It's a little funny. You could build a house, so on and so forth. It's, I don't know. Also, like, do you really need... I know commercial real estate. I'm not a genius, but yeah. you need three double garages and two garages. He lists how many cars well, you can. You park. never know what you Dude, need. You gotta watch it with the I mean, sound. You, the guy you, you're bringing fucking, Tommy in. He's to a get character. Made. You gotta, you know. He's a character. Have the space. He's a character. He's <laughs> got the gun at the end. Of, come on, it's this guy's gold. Funny guy. <laughs> yeah. Why not? You uh, don't know guys like that. Oh no, I I, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know guys a, like that. Yeah, but it's right like, up, I, it's I right up our alley. I will say this. I went to an event. Rico invited to me an event. Last week, Staten Island was a dump. <laughs> it, I mean, it is a dump. Some of the best pizza I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, it's worth that the trip. That place was legit. Unbelievable. Incredible pizza. The place is a dump. <laughs> uh, the Barstool Sportsbook is a sportsbook made for stoolies and is the only place to find exclusive picks and parlays from Big Cat, Dave, Jersey Jerry, Rico Bosco, and the entire Barstool gang. And this March, kick off the action with a $100 sign-up bonus from the Barstool Sportsbook. Sign up today using the code TORNY, then place a $10 or more cash wager on any college basketball bet. You win or lose, you receive $100 in bonus cash. So download and create an account today. And be sure to, to use the code TORNY to unlock your $100 in bonus cash. The Barstool Sportsbook lets you bet however you like with daily odds boosts, live in-game markets, move the line and teaser bets, and parlay plus for awesome game same game parlays. iCasino is also available in select states for your favorite games and slots. So download the Barstool Sportsbook and create an account today. And be sure to use the code TORNY to unlock $100 in bonus cash. You must be 21 plus. Gameway problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. March Madness time. People are going to Columbus. We got Mr. March here. The, he is March. I am March. He is March. You worried you got too hot? No. No, not at all. I am March! What the fuck? I am March! You, you haven't taken any of my... Time. I am March! Come on! I'm four, 14 and 3. It's right tough here. to go two weeks of lights out. Not, not to me. Okay. Yeah, why not stay hot? Yeah. What's the I'm problem? I'm just asking. So Championship week is a tough bear, and then you got to go this... Now you got to go this... I mean, I'm not giving out Kansas, who gets blown out by 20. <laughs> I mean, I'm not doing I went 2-1 that. and one that day. You see Santa you Barbara. Out Kansas. You see Santa Barbara, and uh, Kent State won outright. You see Santa Barbara. That's where the money's in the crumbs. So I'm not the biggest college basketball guy, but I like all of America. I love March Madness, but I won't be in Columbus. Jerry is March. Yep. He will yep. be in Columbus. I wish... I will say, I wish Rico was going to Columbus. I really do. I wish he was there. You host the college basketball podcast. So you're not going to Columbus? No, not anymore. Not anymore? I do my own thing. Well, you do Bosco and one. Yeah, Bosco and one. It's, on, it's a free agent right now. What do you mean, free agent? You're starting to look to go somewhere again? No, I got... <laughs> that sounded like you're looking to go It's somewhere. a free agent YouTube show, but I did the, the team. Oh, somebody somebody reached out. They said, uh, we want to start monitoring this. Looks like you're doing okay. I was like, all right, great. I thought it was a prank. Right. I had to reach out to Chuck. <laughs> I had to reach out to Chuck quick. That I... Listen, percent No, I 100% like get what you're Imagine I'm from. You giving think, like, away my YouTube YouTube channel. Yeah, it's like I also ne negotiated. I said if it hits a million dollars in revenue, Chuck gets a hundred dollars because he set up the million? meeting. Dude, it was a fucking. You're looking out for the people. Relax. Hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know who you better. could. You know what he could give Jerry? Mm. Nothing. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. There you go. Could give nothing. Hundred dollars <laughs> better than nothing. Tonight you got uh, Southeast Missouri State versus Texas A&M. Pittsburgh versus 
Mississippi State. Yeah, so I have uh, that winner in uh, Bracket Buskers. Um, Mississippi State? Miss, well, Mississippi State or Pitt. I'm hoping it's Mississippi State because Iowa State is dead man walking. Dead man walking. And I like Mississippi State's defense. Um, so I think uh, that winner is very live. Jerry, who's, your, first who's your bracket busker? I have Arizona State University. Oh. Arizona State, who they got? Yeah, um, they are playing Nevada. Nevada. Playing. Nevada. And then the six is, oh. uh, who's their six? Not Creighton. Not uh, Iowa State. Keep going. They got all time. Who's their six? <laughs> Eventually, if I want to win this thing, they're going to have to beat Gonzaga. Which is going to Which be. Which is possible. Yeah. You never know. You exactly Greg Candy. Lost to Loyola this year. Greg Candy could give him a fight. While we look that up, myself and my good friend Tico Texas, we have Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns baby, taking on Tennessee. They got a fight. TCU. TCU without um, Eddie Lampkin. So, you're a lot. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with Arizona State's coach, too? Hurley? Bobby Hurley, yeah. He's yeah. nuts. So, uh, if any of our teams make the Sweet 16, uh, the busker, Bracket Buskers will send us all to Ireland with our companions. And your companions, Tico, Texas. My companions, Tico, Texas. That's, that's a reality show waiting to happen. Got it! Got it! Got I'm almost it. rooting for your team over mine. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see it. <laughs> would you want to go to Ireland in my stead? <laughs> no. Does the trip have to be together? Uh, if he went, they're going to make them go together. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> you scene. Oh, Fasoli's already, yeah. Top of the morning to you. Yeah. Top of the morning to you. Fasoli will have his, his, uh, green, his green merch, break it out, ready to go. Viva, viva. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, a year ago, that's when uh, we had the March Madness in Philly. Yeah, and yes. I'm not allowed on the mic anymore, allegedly. <laughs> the Weed English Channel. Okay, that's the rundown. Rocky Boots, down in the Barstool Sportsbook. March Madness, baby.